Hi, in this video I'm going to demonstrate how to solve this problem. As you can see, I have a Dawa camera and it got caught on something and you can see the wires got damaged. So there are various ways to solve this problem. Now, you might want to just reconnect them. Fine, you can do that. But you might also want to just, at this point, connect it straight to your Cat5 or Cat5e, Cat6 cable. That's also an option. I will then demonstrate the pinout, which pin is going to which color. And I think that's the main reason for why you're watching the video. Okay, just a reminder, this is how you work out the pin numbering on the RJ45. You turn it almost upside down, the pin, the uh, copper facing upwards, facing you, and you start on the left-hand side, and that is one, two, three, four, five, all the way to eight. So using this logic, you can then map the Dawa uh, color coding. So brown goes to pin one, purple goes to pin two, orange goes to pin three, and so forth. So this is what you need to know in order to rewire your broken Dawa cable. If you're not sure on what I'm doing here, well, watch the rest of the video and I'll show you how to solve this problem. So let's, uh, let's start. Look, I'm going to carry on uh, uh, breaking that, so that's broken. Now what I'm going to do is, you should use a wire stripper. Right, now what you see is there's only four cables there. There's only four wires and then there's a foil here and then the remaining wires are this side. There they are. You see the uh, twisted pair of the orange and blue and then the twisted pair of the brown and purple. Now, if you wanted to map these pins yourself, I'll just show you the, the process so that you can do this with any camera. Uh, so what I'm teaching you is the principle here. Now, this is continuity. This means that there's a short circuit. For example, the screw here, if I touch there and I touch there, it's telling me it's a dead short. So that is now going to allow me to map the, the pins here. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm, I've written here on this uh, little post-it the pins 1 to 8 because that is the equivalent uh, numbering of the RJ45 connector. There it is. So I want to know what is pin 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So I know what to do in terms of rewiring this thing. So let's do the mapping right now. Right, I'm going to start with red. Red. And I'm also assuming red is for the power here. And there we go. That is obvious. You can see that this is for the uh, the power jack, although most people are using a power of Ethernet, so let's just map it to the power. Nothing. So the red is not connected in terms of these pins here. No red. Right, now we'll do the uh, black. Now obviously the black is this this one over there. So the red and black is for the pin, uh, the, the jack. So that's obviously the external power if you're not using power over Ethernet. As you can see, there is no uh, black on this side here. So there is no conductivity there, right? Now we go to the other ones that came in the shield, uh, that weren't in the shield, that's the yellow. Let's see what the yellow was. All right, so there's the yellow. Four. So the yellow is to pin four. So I'm just doing that. So that's yellow. Perfect. Done. Now, next one was the gray. Which is X seven and eight. Uh, whoops, 7 and 8, gray is 7 and 8, and now I'm going to do the brown, which is pin 1, and now the blue, Pin six.
and then the orange which is pin 3 and then the purple which is two okay so this is the final pinout uh, one is brown two is purple three is orange four is yellow five is not connected six is blue seven and eight are gray Right, you might want to resolder this together and but what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect it to a cat 5 e cable and just show you the method that I'm going to follow and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut the the one side off here and I'm going to solder the cables onto the to the uh, the camera cable and the reason why I'm going to do that is because if you look at these cables you'll find that uh, these this is stranded you see, and stranded is not something that wants to be inserted into a, a uh, RJ45 because what happens is when you insert it in there and then when you crimp it, you find that it just comes right out. So the best way is to solder it. But obviously, the, the ideally, these things should be twisted and it's not the best way to do, uh, to do this by soldering this on. But because the bandwidth of the camera is so low, I mean, this is only a 2 megapixel camera and this cable here is gigabit, um, I'm not so worried. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to now map this to this, knowing the pinouts here, and this happens to be a uh, I uh, this happens to be a five six eight B standard, so that means it's orange white, orange green white, blue blue white, green brown white, brown. It's already been wired there, so that is orange white orange. Orange, white, orange, green, white, blue, blue, white, blue, white, green, brown, white, brown. But these two are effectively shorted. All right, so orange, white goes to brown. There we go. There's orange, white. And I'm wiring it to brown. Now, before you do this, you might want to get some heat shrink. Uh, if you've got some wide heat shrink, you could put this on. Like that. And then at the end, you will just uh, uh, heat it up and I'll show you what it, what it will look like. So I'll put the heat shrink on now. So it is orange white, which is going to brown.
Right, so to summarize, these are the connections. As you can see, I've hardwired it to a Cat5e cable and I've matched the color coding via doing the pinouts to a uh, RJ45. And if you want to know how to do the RJ45, I've got a video showing that. I'm sure you do know how to do that. But most important is the pinouts here. And then there is the red and black, which are not mapped to any of these pins. So what you could do, is you could just cut these a little bit shorter at uh, uneven places like that and just uh, put the tape over it and now you are ready to to put the heat shrink you might want to just uh, tape this uh, quite tightly if you want to you could just tighten these all together like so Right, so there we go. There is the finished product. As you can see, I've now hardwired it. I've covered it with the heat shrink, so it is waterproof. It is fairly strong. Adds a bit of uh, um, a strength to it, but obviously you're not going to tug on this. Another uh, uh, good advice is when you're doing the heat shrink, you could you could compress this in before you you do the heat shrink, which does add a bit of strength to the wire. And that's it. Now, if you uh, now plug this into your NVR, you will see that the camera will work as normal. Alright, so that's how you do that. Thanks for watching. Cheers.